Welcome, welcome to today's Comic Con, man. Give it up for our host. Put together a great show for us so far, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? My name's Kevin Smith, and today I have the singular honor of moderating a panel with a fella that I not only admire, but I actually got to uh, watch work up close and stuff. I've directed three episodes of The Flash so far, and I think I'm going back next year to do another one. So I've spent some time uh, up in Central City and only got there because I was a fan. Certainly not because I've been a filmmaker, because they looked at my films and they're like, we don't need your help. But I've talked about being such a fan of the show. Eventually, I aggregated into actually working on the show and got to see a bunch of things up close and personal, got to interact with storylines that meant a lot to me, got to uh, meet the cast um, who tell an ongoing tale that it really roped me in. I'll be honest with you, I was not on board from season one. It wasn't until season two that I jumped on. The episode with King Shark was the episode that brought me into the Flash family, and I would not have known that it was on. It was just Jason Mewes, the guy that I stand next to in real life and in movies. Jason Mewes loves the CW in a big, bad way. I'm pretty sure their key demographic is 12-year-old girls and Jason Mewes. So... He had been telling me to watch it in a big bad way for a season and I didn't. And then finally one night he called me up screaming about King Shark being on. He's very passionate. And we, even though we're very close, he doesn't just call me all the time because he like lives around the block from me. So he never calls. He just pops in like Kramer and the adventure begins and stuff like that. So one night he called me. I saw the, his name pop up on my phone. And since he never calls, I thought it was an emergency, man. And I was like, hello, what's the matter? He goes, turn on the fucking TV, turn on the TV right now. And the only time he had ever called and screamed at me to turn on the TV was September 11th, 2001. So I was like, oh my God, are we under attack again? And he goes, no man, King Shark's on Flash. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? You gave me a heart attack. Like, I thought fucking ISIS had showed up on American shores. And he goes, who the fuck is she? I'm talking about Flash. So he told me to watch the episode. I was like, King Shark, are you kidding me? And I watched it, and oh my God, I fell in love with it. It played, the episode played like an issue of the Flash comic book that I'd grown up reading, one by uh, Mark Wade or something like that. So I was like, they got the tone down. Let me watch a few more of these. And I watched, went back to the start of season one, watched the whole season, and, and even uh, recorded myself watching the last episode. Jason Mewes had said, have you seen the last episode, season finale, season one? I said, no, not yet. He goes, oh, my God, you got to record yourself watching it. I was like, I'm not a teenager. Why would I do that? And he was just like, because it almost made me cry, and I never cry at anything. He's going, but you cry at everything. So I'm a middle-aged stoner. Everything makes me cry. So he goes, I want to see how hard it makes you cry. I said, all right. And so I set up my camera to record me watching the season finale. And it is so powerful, and I was so invested. To say that I cry is an understatement. Like, to me, crying is dignified, like a Native American standing by the side of the road looking at garbage or something like that. But for me, man, like, I wasn't crying. I was blubbering. I was like, Ugh! my tits were going up and down. I was crying so hard and stuff. Fell hard for it. Put that clip up online. Somebody sent it to my mother, and my mother called me, and she goes, oh, my God, Tiger, are you okay? And I said, why? What's the matter? She goes, I saw you on a video online, and you were crying. And I was like, oh, that's because I watched The Flash, Ma, the season finale. It is so good. you got to see it. And she goes, I hope you cry that hard when I die. And... So I'm very invested in the show, and you know every show uh, with a, where your titular main character uh, is is the, is the lead. You hope to God when you get to the uh, to the set uh, that you're not only meeting the character that person's playing, but you're meeting who you think that actor is in your head and heart. And I was so delighted from the first time I got up there to Vancouver uh, to find out that our, today our guest, the star of our panel. Um, is a really, not only wonderful actor and a hell of a dancer, apparently, but a really great human being, man. Give it up for Barry Allen himself, Flash, Grant Gustin! Right. Where am I? You hit here. For the fastest man alive, you fucking sauntered on stage. I didn't even know if you were going to ever introduce me. <laughs> the, intro, yeah. the intro was very long. 
Um, how are you, man? You just finished, what, a couple months ago, and you're about, we were just talking yesterday. I, you know, I assume because of the beard that Grant was deep into vacation, and uh, he said that he's heading back up. What? So, so deep it's over, yeah. The vacation's done. Yeah. Let's just, jack yeah. his mic up a little more. Hello? Yes. Testing, testing. Hello, hello? All right. So vacation is over. You're headed back. In a week, we start season five. Now, when you joined, when, when they were like, hey, man, we want you to play Flash on Arrow, did you have any idea that you could go as deep as five seasons? I mean, the, the content's there. They got eons of material to pull from. But did you feel in your heart when you got the job, you're like, I'm going to be doing this for like half a decade? Um, uh, it was a thought that crossed my mind. I mean, when I did Arrow, it was with the, knowing it was a backdoor pilot, and then we ended up making our own pilot. But I knew that it was to potentially, you know, to do a spinoff. And that if it got picked up, Arrow was already a hit, you know, and this was The Flash, so it felt like it kind of had a, a built-in hit, um, but you never want to count on that, obviously. But yeah. I always knew it was a possibility that if it went, I'd be doing it for a while, and here we are. <laughs> Prior to this, though, your experience in Hero World was minimal. Like, were you a fan as a kid of comic books and stuff? Yeah, I didn't read comic books growing up. Uh, I didn't know where to find them, I guess. I grew up in Norfolk, Virginia, and I'm sure I could, but I, I just didn't know where to find them. But I was a big uh, fan of the Christopher Reeve franchise, the Superman franchise. Mm. Um, yeah, he's the man. Um, so, yeah, that was kind of my what ignited my love for Superman. And then it was everything Superman growing up. So when you were, you were working on, what, Glee prior to Flash? It was my first TV gig was Glee. Was I'd Glee. been doing theater, yeah, and then I, Glee was my first time on camera. Um, woo, Glee, yeah. <laughs> Um, and then, yeah, that just kind of kept me in L.A. auditioning. But I did a couple other things, and, um, and then I was unemployed for a really long time, actually, before Flash happened. Like How did it year. come into your life? Did you first hear about it? Was it something you pursued? Or uh, were they like, you'd be good for this? David Rappaport, the casting director, had cast me on the reboot of 90210. Mm -hmm. um, so he knew me. I think he had me in mind already seriously, because my first thought, I was the first person to audition, as was Steven, for Arrow. And... Uh, they liked me a lot right away. And it was, I think I did like five more, but they, yeah, I mean, I was getting kind of calls right after that first one from David Nutter, the director, and trying to help me out and get in my corner. Now, when you were at least on Glee, it like lends into a theatrical background. Um, and yeah. you, you hoof and you dance, you sing and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. When they hit you with like, you're gonna play the fastest man alive, number one, I'm sure you're like, oh my God, it's a job and a lead, of course I'm interested. But is it outside your wheelhouse, comfort zone, or you're like, oh man, I'm not gonna be able to show off my other strengths at all? Um, I don't know, I didn't really have like a wheelhouse yet, as far as for the, like, the TV film world, you know, I didn't know like what, I was open to any kind of work that felt like that I was drawn to, and I mean, obviously playing The Flash was something. Initially, I didn't want to go to the audition, because I thought I didn't have a chance in hell. I thought it was kind of a, a waste of time, um, just because he's a big, buff, blonde superhero, and I didn't, you know, that's physically wasn't me, but, um, you know, it went and worked out. It's so strange. Like, I, when I think of the character, you know, most of my childhood, of course, you think of the red outfit and the very, very blonde hair and stuff. Yeah. Um, and you're right. I guess they give him some muscles. Especially in the 80s. In yeah. the 80s, very much so. But your, your portrayal of the character embodies Barry Allen so much that it got rid of a prejudice of, let's say, 40 years of like, oh, the Flash has blonde hair. Right. Like, to yeah. me, I'm like, no, now you, you encompass everything that character is and have taken it so much further than even I enjoyed it on the page that, to me, I'm like, this is what The Flash looks like. This is what Barry Allen yeah. looks like. I mean, um, let's talk about that performance because uh, we've all been able to watch it, uh, and I've watched it as a fan, but I've also been there for the process. Like, it, it's a, one, could say, one could make the argument, oh, it's like a goofy show about a kid who solves all his problems by running very fucking yeah, yeah, fast. Yeah, yeah. But... You, you, as I watch you prepare for takes, like you put as much into it as like, I've worked with Matt Damon, same kind of thing, like treating it insanely seriously. Where does that come from? Um, I don't know, I mean, I came up in theater, that was my background, and for theater, I mean, it's just like a no-brainer that um, you, you put the work in. You know, there's, a, there's months of rehearsal, and it's all about analyzing the script, working with the director, the collaboration, and just getting the work done. And I think, I, you know, when I was thrown into TV, that's what it was still about for me was, I was never drawn to like fame, I'm still not, you know, I'm not drawn to like fame or attention. Attention actually kind of makes me 
a little nervous and squirmy, which is why this is the third convention I've ever done. This is um, only the third convention you've yeah, ever done? Yeah, yeah. You're three. doing great so Thanks, far. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you. Um, <laughs> What were we talking about? <laughs> Performance, fine and excellent. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's always, for me, been a, the first thing is always, you know, as it should be, is about the work. And um, for Flash, I mean, sometimes it's easy. And sometimes that means really, really diving deep and going at it. Because it is a superhero show. And to, to build layers, I think that's the actor's job a lot of the time, is to take it and make it personal and make it human. So, I mean, I take this as serious as I'll take, you know, what my the rest of my career will hopefully be and whatever, film, a serious, dramatic film. I mean, this is just as serious to me, even though it's The Flash and we get funny and it's on the CW. Especially this season. <laughs> this season they allowed you guys to get like a, almost, a, almost charmingly funny in a way like you yeah. were in season one or two. The season prior to that, so with Avatar went fairly dark for that show. Yeah. This season went very light. Is that, was that, that was part of that decision. Yes, that was very intentional, and I think it was so, and we were so excited about it that we were so goofy early in the season. You saw us kind of start to be like, we should like pull it back a little bit. We were like, because <laughs> we were, you know, it's all those are the that's the most fun for us though, is to just like dick around, have fun, let Tom Cavanaugh or Carlos improv, you know. So and those dudes are really funny. The the whole family atmosphere that you guys have created up there. I mean, they work together constantly. So there's a familiarity that's, that, that breeds warm, wonderful, funny stuff when you guys are allowed to like yeah. jump off the page, which isn't very often in TV. In TV, they're very much do the line, say what's on the page. But this season, yeah. there felt more wiggle room yeah. in terms of you guys being able to play more and that showing up actually in the cuts. Let's talk about the cast that surround you. That's now, cool. you, when, were you the first one cast? Yes. Did they start testing you against people or did they just say, uh, here is your family? They, I... Tested actually the same day Carlos tested, so we were screen testing around the same time, uh, I think. But then the only person I actually did a chemistry read with was Candace for mm -hmm. Iris, and um, that was it actually. Yeah, I mean, they, they had, I was cast so early because of Arrow that I think it wasn't until almost a year later that we Everybody were doing else. the pilot. Yeah. Um, I'm a big uh, West Allen shipper myself. Mm, yeah, me too. Uh, the work uh, that you and Candace uh, have done on those characters uh, really brought them vividly to life. And now we've watched their relationship go from like uh, childhood besties mm -hmm. to like now you guys are married. What, where do you go after that? Marriage is an adventure in and of itself and stuff. But, you know, you guys have an adventure to tell every week, normally a long tale involving a villain who generally is very fast yes. as well, yeah. although not now this season. So how do you keep that fresh like almost like a real relationship in real life how do you keep that fresh yeah I don't know I mean I've I, the only thing I've first of all the writing like I kind of stay out of it like I let them do what they're gonna do um, unless there's really something that I'm like maybe we don't do that but uh, when it the relationship really the only things I've ever said is like let's not look for drama for the sake of drama because it is it's the CW they love the drama it's a superhero show but it's it feels like Iris Barry is so like you know the the gold standard. They're so steadfast that I didn't. I don't. I don't like to see the drama for the sake of drama. Right. Um, but other than that, I mean, I don't. I mean, I would imagine if we can stay on the air long enough, we'll, we probably will see them have a kid. Um, which we've so now. Right. Which now we've seen. Yeah. Got a is, taste of at the end it, of last season. Right. But I'm, I'm more thinking like when it happened, a baby. But we'll see. So I'm excited to see what we're gonna do with next year though, with the mystery girl. I hope everyone saw the finale. <laughs> in a world where you're heading back up soon have you seen a first script yet uh no i'm supposed to get it this week actually really? and i'm meeting with todd helbing our uh ep showrunner on uh monday so I'll, I'll get the lowdown before i go back up and for those that aren't familiar with the process like when you're of course when you're the lead character of the show you pretty much work like every day yeah uh so grant's like lives on set like most of the season, mm -hmm. doesn't really get to interact with the real world that much, and then when the season ends, kind of gets to go back to it. What is it like leading an entirely Flash-like existence? Um, I get lost in it, for sure. I, season one, I, would re I was reading everything still, like as I, ha as I was during the pilot. D during season one, I was reading a lot of comics still, getting through New 52 and looking back. and. Um, I had season two, I did a lot less of that because it was, it's, it's, it is all flash all the time. So I, B 
became an avid reader of other things and why, you know, just find ways to disconnect on set because it is all flash all the time. And as someone that grew up loving superheroes, like you don't ever want to feel like it's uh, like you're sick of it. You know what I mean? Right, right. <laughs> so um, it, it is crazy. You get buried in it. It's crazy. It's like anything else. It's like no matter what you want to do in life, if you wind up doing it, you do it enough. And in yeah. TV, they do it way more than they do it in movies. They do it like 22 episodes, 23, 23 episodes yeah. a year and stuff. So there's always moments where cast and crew, as much as it's like, this is an amazing job, they're yeah. like, wait, he's gonna run again? Yeah. Like, you know, but that's part of the matrix of the show. And that's why we love having Kevin come direct, because Kevin gets everybody pumped up and r r remind us why we love it so much. I do, <laughs> I come in as a fan because like, I love the show. So the first time I came in, it was late in the season two, and you know they were everyone was doing their jobs excellently, but we at the tired. same time they were tired. Yeah, we were tired. So I showed up and I was like, "What are you tired for? It's the fucking Flash, man!" You know. I think you actually. I don't know if you remember. You you teared up when you saw me in the suit for the first time. I did. Yeah. I came out in the suit and he was like, "It's the Flash, man. You're the, that's the Flash." I did. I was like, only I was 46 when I shot that episode. <laughs> So it would be ridiculous to say, and gross to say as a 46-year-old man that, like, I got hard seeing him in that outfit. You did say that. You did, though. I didn't because I got <laughs> wet is what happened. I was instantly moist all over. I, I wasn't was like, going to divulge that part. I remember saying to you, I was just like, hey, man, why, this is amazing. This looks cool. Why don't they do this in real life, give people uniforms to fight crime? And Grant goes, they do. They're called police. <laughs> Um, talk about the outfit, because those of us who see you on set yeah. know that the outfit is a bit of a, a struggle to some degree. Yes. You make it work very fluently or, and fluidly on, on screen, but it, it's, yeah. it's a deal. It like takes the whole, a team. Like, yeah, somebody was just asking about today about the cowl, and like, like, I, I think most everyone could assume this, but the, like the cowl and the down cowl are obviously two completely separate different costume pieces i didn't know that until yeah. i got to set so man. we're like shooting and i've got my cowl on and someone will be like freeze and everyone will freeze and then someone will come on and zzz, velcro off my lightning bolt like, thing off put the other one on zip it back up okay action and then we keep going and you have to act like that didn't just happen like, that happens a lot on the flash set. There's a lot of, all right, everybody freeze. Yeah, freeze. And, for, and when you watch, like when, when kids are playing freeze tag, it makes sense. But when you watch a bunch of adults suddenly yeah, freeze but... and it goes on for like 20 seconds, it just feels eerie. You know, it's very strange. But that's how they do like the zoop as well. Yeah, that was when I, one yeah. of my favorite things to learn the about. Fathum. The fathum as well. They, the, so whenever flash comes into and out of a scene, a fathum, the papers blow and everyone's hair goes blowing, which I love because he hangs out with the most brilliant people on earth and nobody could figure out to buy a fucking paperweight. So, and like, why? what are the papers even? <laughs> we're in a digital world. Yeah, there are no we papers. Don't, we're never writing on paper in Star Labs. Yeah, it's there's true. always paper in they Star Labs. They keep them there just to show yeah, off yeah. how fast you are. Barry does. He comes in every night and he's like, let's get that paper preset. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, they're going to see how fast I am tomorrow. Of, uh, nothing? Nothing? <laughs> All right. But uh, show them the show them the zoop the fathum. In order to do it, like I, you know, I was talking to uh, Bob was the AD, Bob yeah. Crippen, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, he went over to Supergirl. Love Bob. He's over there now. Yeah. Love Bob. The wonderful AD. Bob runs the set and stuff. Yeah. So uh, I, as a first time fan, I was like, uh, I can't wait. I said in the script here it says Flash zoops in. What's that? And he goes zoop. That's when he comes in real fast. So I guess comics guys call it fathum. I said, yeah, Zoop, why does it say Zoop? I've never seen that, I've read comics my whole life. And he goes, well, Zoop came from the guy that directed the pilot. He wasn't a big comic book guy. So one yeah, day he yeah. came in and he goes, what a fast guy, he's gonna Zoop over here, it'll Zoop over there, and it'll Zoop out of the room. And the writers were like, Z-O-O-P. And so it changed it forever. So I was like, I wanna see the Zoop, I love that. It's my favorite part when he fucking takes off and shit like that. And Bob was like, oh, yeah, that's right, you don't know how we do the Zoop, do you? I said, no, and he goes, boy, you're in for a fucking disappointment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's what I say about everything. Like our true. show is like the most awkward dailies in the business. Like, it, it's it's a lot of so air can and work. Like whenever he leaves the the room, they have this. Uh, there's a person who has like what looks like a flamethrower on their back, and they're aiming it at everyone else who's in the scene. Just smile. Just ready. Like, just went. Because the girls hate it, obviously. Because like, <laughs> bam, the bug just face, neck, and chest. Bam, you know? Oh, I'm so. sorry, that wasn't a good one. We gotta do it one more time? Yeah, I'm sorry. Hair, thank you. Yeah, I think it's set. Yep, all the time. As as soon as they go, all right, everybody freeze. Everybody freezes. And they're like, all right, Grant, get out of there. And uh, Grant exit. walks out. Yep. And they're like, 
okay, action, and then they jack him in the face with like 10,000 pounds of air pressure. Sometimes they roll that cannon out where it's like, oh my God. It's like, <laughs> it's normally it's a little thing, but sometimes they bring out a gigantic device. And you just get the impression that like production is like, let's just see what their faces will yes, do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, when, uh, when, when, so anyway, the suit is two different like things. If he wants to take the cowl down, they have to stop and he has to put a separate cowl on. But this is now what, the second or third incarnation of the suit that you're wearing? Well, one doesn't count, because in the pilot, uh, it was a one piece and it was heavier leather. So then, and starting in the second episode, I didn't have a new suit, Barry didn't have a new suit, but Grant did, like it was, they worked, they made it into a pants jacket situation. A, a separate piece. Lighter leather. leather. So the first one was a onesie, a giant onesie? And it's like couch leather, like so heavy, like, it, and it was, no, it was March when we shot the pilot, thankfully. And when we came back for episode two, it was the heat of summer. And I actually, it was like glued to my face still. You never directed me when it was glued to my face. They have to glue Cal? To yeah, the pro production was like, I, it's the only way. It's, we don't, I, so I had this Cal zipped and like glued to my face for 12 hours at a time. Ate lunch in it. <laughs> and then like episode nine, they were like, so we think we figured something else out. And, Never had a glitch. And the fix again. probably was like, a hoodie? Yeah, <laughs> no, it was, yeah, no, it was basically just zip tighter, and that was it. Um, but yeah, I think other than that, I've had the, the, the first thing we changed was the white emblem. So it was still the new suit, mm. or same suit, new emblem. Mm. And then, yeah, it was going into season four was when we had that whole new shtick. Love you. He heard you. They're in the second row. <laughs> Um, that show, uh, one of my favorite things about it, of course, is the heart. The show always manages to make me uh, tear up, if not flat out cry. When you guys are working on it, do you know, like, are there scenes where you're like, oh, this is really going to ring the heartstrings? Um, yeah, sometimes. Like, sometimes you're, su you're surprised. Like, with the finished product or on set, you're like, oh, I didn't realize this scene was going to be like this. Usually with Candace and I, because... You know, you read the scenes and you think they are what they are because you do them all the time. And then you go on set and you start to do it. And it's something more than you realize what it was. Um, but, yeah, I mean, sometimes you're reading it and you're just, like, bawling your eyes out, like, hysterical. And you, you know how good the scene is. The, um, when, when you guys uh, do those scenes, they, they're very, uh, in the three episodes that I've worked on, there's always a, at least one you know, uh, uh, West Allen uh, pep talks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would imagine like doing it 20, two, yeah. 23 it's times. A little repetitive, yeah. Yeah, you're like, well, how do we re express yeah. it this time? But it speaks volumes about you guys as performers that each time you're able to do it. Like, even as a viewer, I'm like, okay, here comes the moment where Iris is going to yeah. perk him up. You still find a way to make it fresh where I'm like, I love these two. <laughs> like, it still works. Um, in terms of uh, working with the cast, Who's, uh, I'm certainly not saying single out your favorite, but who's fun to be around? Tell them who the fun cats. I mean, they all are. But. Yeah, I mean, you, you know the dynamic, obviously. I personally, I mean, uh, first of all, I love Jesse just because we, he was like the first guy I bonded with on the show. And I was just like a huge Rent fan. So it was like surreal to me that I was going to be working with him. Um, but as far as just like goofing around and having fun, I mean, definitely Kavanaugh is... The best. Tom, Tom uh, is, is such a fun and funny guy. He's yeah. the dude that keeps like energy yeah. up at all times. He doesn't like, have an off switch. I mean, sometimes, though, it's like, dude, this is a serious scene. Like, will you stop? But he's amazing. I, I mean, he's like the class clown and the spirit of the show, for sure. I mean, what is the thing, the project that you guys worked on together, the yeah. comedy thing? So it was called Tom and Grant. It was like honestly born out of bits that we would do on set that are not funny, but they're just like repetition of us like the bit is the fact that we like don't let things go we just kind of do things again and again and again and that's kind of who these guys are in this short that he wrote and yeah I mean he a couple of the bits that are in the movie are things that we had that were born on set from us just like dicking around and he it's Tom and Grant we're never referred to each other by name so we always said he he was actually playing Grant and I was actually playing Tom <laughs> um, but yeah it's just like these two idiot bank robbers sitting in a car that have a very half-baked plan waiting to rob this bank, basically. And you shoot it between? No, we, that was crazy. I was like leaving to do a movie at the time. It was as we wrapped up season three, I was supposed to go right into a movie. Tom wanted to squeeze this short in. So we, I, we wrapped Flash. Very next day, we did two days of Tom and Grant. And then 
the movie I was supposed to go do fell through anyway, so I just went home and chilled after that. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk about uh, Barry Allen uh, his own, being his own worst enemy. It seems like most of the problems that Barry has to face, uh, he creates in one way or another by yeah. going back in time and uh -huh. fucking with shit. Do you, uh, whenever you get a script, you're like, come on, man, don't make me go back in time again. Or is it still fun to do? Uh, time travel was always, yeah, a fun thing to do. We didn't really do it last year, uh, I think very intentionally. Um, but no, the time travel stuff's fun. It got confusing for sure, the Savitar. So we were like, people ask me questions about Savitar, and I'm like, I don't know. Um, but no, I, I like that stuff. Um, yeah, I like the time, tra time travel stuff. Who uh, has been over four seasons, you're heading into five. Who's been the favorite villain for you? Man, I mean, he's not a villain anymore, but the, who just popped into my head was Wentworth's Captain Cold. Just, but he's, yeah, he's like a friend of me. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. I was just thinking of today, because I was just, I, I had a feeling, like, who's your favorite rogue was going to be a thing. And I was just, like, racking my brain, and I hadn't thought in a while. I love Weather Wizard. Liam McIntyre is Weather Wizard. So I, he'd be fun to have back. We haven't had him enough. And then Mark Hamill is the trickster. Yeah. Uh, wasn't and wasn't Weather Wizard the episode where like he built up the seawall and Iris is like you got to run down yeah. the shore but real fast back or no yeah. it was uh, Danielle was like you got to run back and forth real fast and that was where like Iris saw you were the Flash for the first time and then you kissed yeah and then it, and then, and then time. accidentally time travel for the first time yeah. oh I fucking love that I when, remember like, watching and being like that's no actually one of my favorite episodes now that I'm thinking about it yeah. it's pretty Wait, that's the one with episode. Cisco yes. too with yeah I don't yeah I mean I they're all, all seen with it, Cisco but, I, that's for sure. but like where he like. Through the chest. That's the first, yes. Yes, yes. Yeah. We can talk spoilers. I just, I don't They've know. all I mean, some seen of these it, people, yeah. you don't know. I don't, you know, um, half yeah. a season one or something. I don't. That is, I love all the seasons, but season one to me was like a real discovery because yeah. I didn't realize, like, you know, I, I was familiar with and liked Smallville, but like, they, it was a, everything went up a level with Flash where suddenly it was like they were treating it seriously. Somebody once described it as like, um, it's like, you know, Dawson's Creek, but everyone's wearing capes and stuff. Like, and that made sense to me. I'm like, oh yeah, there's an emotional core of this right. show that even though these, they're superhumans, it's the human story that, that we're all you know, attracted to. But what like, keeps us coming back is like, oh, there's some spectacle gonna happen, some big yeah. stuff gonna happen. Uh, talk about the special effects aspects of it because uh, we've seen a, a, an evolution of the run. Yes. And now have. it's become something like in the beginning, what was you were on machines or what? I was on a treadmill. I was on like a treadmill. They had taken all the sidings off of um, and painted green. And then they put a harness on me that was like up to the, you know, rafters of the studio. Um, but they would never, my frames were, my legs were always out of frame. So we eventually were like, I, I, this is what I do now. It, the job doesn't even require you to move your legs, really? Um, no, yeah. I, pretty much when I'm Barry, I'm like, can we frame out my legs? I, I sit down and they frame me. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, I don't <laughs> run ever, though. Like, it's true, though. It just makes sense. Most of it's up here. And yeah. here is tough to represent because yeah. it's like it's supposed to be going. Right. And he doesn't, you know, people awesome. on the treadmill, you're running straight up and down. And he's haul, you know, he's bent over and hauling ass. So. You see, you brought a physicality to it, even though earlier we're like, you know, I'm not big and brawny and stuff. But like, I, you, you have a runner's body. It makes more sense to me. I have more of a runner's body than any other kind of athlete. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe a ball boy, soccer player. Like yeah, ball boy. Yeah, I could be a bat boy for yeah. What? Uh, where? Um, what? Let's see. What? What do you think, hands down? And, and I'm, I'm not looking for for uh, my episode. What? What's your favorite episode you think you've done so far? Uh, the, the moment that always comes to my mind first is season one finale. Yes. I like, Hands down. And like, now as oh, I said that, actually, I just thought of your reaction video to the oh season one God. finale. Which it, is <laughs> it was, it's honestly one of the greatest things a human being has ever made in the history <laughs> of mankind. Like, it's not just a great hour of TV. It is so well yeah. constructed. And Tom is so villainous while still being human yeah, at the same no, I, time for the, like i don't care what we do for the rest of flash i mean honestly that episode is like the thing that i'll always just look back on and be so proud of yeah was, you guys facing each other in the pipeline where he's just like now run barry yeah, run yeah. oh it's so damn great and when you just take the run for the first time and 
and remember he's like you're seeing your past yeah, present yeah. And your future and they showed like the flash museum and they showed you in jail yeah. I mean, was, for me I though, it's just weeping. when he sees his mom, you know. I mean, just seeing her, for the, knowing that's where he's going, but yes. the, and making that choice, but then being in the moment. Yeah, I mean, that was just. Oh my God, it's good stuff. Um, I could sit here and and ask about or talk about now, because now I'll just evolve into like, remember this moment was yeah, that yeah. awesome. <laughs> um, but we should open it up to real fans and folks that I get to talk to Grant all the time. As you can see, they run to the mics just like their hero. <laughs> we're gonna start with you right there, young man. Uh, How are you? What's uh, your name? What's your name? Hey, my name is Pablo. And Everyone, give it up for Pablo. He's starting us off. What's up, Pablo? Hey. Hey. Um, I was asking about uh, season finale of season four, uh, and like as you, Grant, what do you think about um, like all this stuff about your? Daughter of the future. Yeah. So, what do you think is gonna change when you're in there? Um, I'm really. I don't want to. Good question. I don't want to spoil too much of it. Obviously, I don't know too much either. What I could presume is that we're gonna see. I mean, if, she's trapped in our time, Nora Allen. So, I think we're probably gonna see Barry trying to help her figure out a way to get back to her time. Um, and yeah, see Barry and Iris interacting with a. a adult version of their child. I mean, it's going to be really cool. It's going to be really cool. We're going to see a new speedster, so get ready. Thank you. Jump it over here, man. What's your name? Hey, um, I'm Alex. Everyone hey, give it up for Alex. Uh, so, Grant, I know that you graduated from Elon University. I actually did not. You did it? I attended. You attended? I, you yeah, attended. I left yeah. after my sophomore yeah. year to start working. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm headed there uh, this oh, cool. year for Congrats. Uh, musical theater. Congrats. Um, Apparently, don't drop his name while you're there. Yeah, no. No, I they, they call me an alumni, so they, th they act like I graduated too. Yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I wanted to ask how your training and education in general has helped you in uh, your career and what type of feedback do you have for aspiring actors? Yeah, um, Elon's amazing. You're really lucky. You're gonna have a good time. Uh, the program's incredible. And yeah, I mean, all the training I've had has been invaluable. I mean, I, it's, I don't know. I mean, I didn't know what my career was gonna be when I was training. I thought I'd mostly be on stage. I didn't really have expectations. I've just kind of always done what I loved and followed my passion. And when I was in school, th that meant going to my classes because I wanted to get better, you know, and it's what I enjoyed doing. So if that's the case for you, then man, just follow your heart, do your thing, it'll work out. Thank you. Yeah. What's your name? Okay, my name is Nikki. And Everyone give it up for Nikki. <laughs> You're amazing. Okay, first of all, I wanna say I love you so much. I love you. <laughs> And second, um, I was wondering how much does it take to shoot, how long does it take to shoot an episode and like add in all the special effects and stuff? Um, I think they prep for what, two weeks? A week? We prep for a week and a half, uh, and then you shoot for nine yeah, days eight, over yeah, the course eight, of the eight three days, weeks. Yeah, eight days, a second unit day of like everything that we just need to pick up, so a little over a week. And then I think it's what, like a month? They post over the course of about a month and change. Yeah. And it has to go up the network and they watch it. The studio watches it, network watches it, give notes, they make trims and boom, it's ready for air. So by the time, like it moves very efficiently. Yeah. Like we finish an episode two months later, that episode is on TV. Yeah. So he's directed, I haven't, so. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Good to talk to you. She wouldn't break eye contact. She was That's like, awesome, yeah. <laughs> hey, what's your name? Hi, I'm Sanvi. Everyone give it up for Sanvi. Look, it's Grant Gustin. Ask him a question. Uh, Grant, like, I love you so much. Love and you like, too. Uh, so um, I was wondering, so every year the CW has those crossover episodes. Yeah. And like, which crossover was your favorite? And like, which actor or actress was like your favorite to work with during the crossover? Um, man, I'm trying to like think of what all the crossovers have been right now. I mean, the wedding crossover was probably the hardest crossover to shoot, uh, just because of the, all the pieces and the schedules. But that one was really cool. Um, and then I guess the first time I went to 
Supergirl, because they were in LA still, and that was just surreal. Like, I mean, we were in California in the suit, downtown LA shooting, and, that, and I love Melissa, so that was great. Um, and I, th I don't know, I mean, I'm not gonna say Steven or Melissa, because I work with them a lot, and I love them, but I think my favorite other actor to work with would probably be Brandon Routh, just because he's friggin' Superman, and he's the awesome. He's a sweetheart, funny dude. Very nice guy, yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Hey man, you're not a young lady. Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> so, my name's Josh. Hey, we'll give it up for and Josh. It, I don't want to break the chain, so I love you too. I love you too, yeah. man. <laughs> I love you too. <laughs> Spoken like the little girl you are. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, so my question is, how is it working with Tom Cavanaugh as he plays the different versions of Harrison Wells? Um, sadly, I haven't like been there when he's done like the council of wells i've never it's always los and danielle that are working with him um but he's the thing i look forward to the most when i'm watching the shows i'm i, I i'm he yeah it kills me on the show i think he's brilliant um working with him is like the biggest blessing in the world and also like such a challenge because he, i always am cracking up like and it's his goal is to like ruin your performance <laughs> not really but like you never turns it off so it's a blessing and a challenge to work with him yeah cool. awesome thank you yeah man he's uh directed now two episodes two at least yeah and he's i love i mean love being directed by him what's so uh, much better than you <laughs> not really man. it just felt like an easy, it was an easy setup <laughs> <laughs> made me feel like the reverse flash for a minute there <laughs> Um, what is the, do you think, like now that he's done it, do you think eventually you'll jump behind the camera and do it? Do you have any interest in doing it? Uh, Flash has definitely made me want to be a director, which I did not know about myself. Um, it wasn't the case before Flash, uh, just because I've now spent, you know, thousands of hours on set. Um, yeah, so I definitely want to do it. But I've never wanted to direct Flash. I always think that's, I think it's because it seems impossible to me. Um, but I've been talking about it a lot recently. I think, like, I'll probably set my sights on, like, whatever our last season is. Right. And, like, kind of maybe do one that season, if, I, if they let me. You should, before it, it all ends, and the Lord knows yeah. it might go on forever and yeah. stuff, but you should definitely, why not forever. use it to build up a skill set where you're like... Yeah, no, totally. And I've been on set where you'd think, like, a filmmaker. You sit there going, like, well, if we're coming around here, maybe I should say this here. That's thinking visually, right. so... Um, all right, let's go over here. Hey, what's your name? Um, my name's Evelyn. Give it up for Evelyn, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Hey, Evelyn. <laughs> um, just to point out, I was the first one in my family to get them to like watch the show. Cool. So my whole family thanks. watches you now. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Um, I just wanted to ask, like, how many more seasons do you think The Flash is gonna do? What are we doing? Five? Uh, at least I would say, what? At least. Three would be a safe bet. Um, we'll see, though. I don't know. You, you, anything could happen, so I don't know. I mean, it's a, uh, it's we could get canceled mid-season. Strong in the, in the ratings for CW. Yeah. So uh, any time I've ever been around the show, internally they're like, it'll. It, this is one thing I've heard said out loud. Uh, the show can go, uh, will go as long as Grant wants it to go. Got to do that. Yeah. I knew you were gonna say that. Yeah. I was like, now I'm the bad guy when it's not Don't when it give ends. Up on yeah, us. exactly. <laughs> So that means 20 seasons. Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> All right, thank you. Thank you, yeah. How are you? What's your name? Hi, um, my name's Jordan. Everyone and, give it up to Jordan. Hey, Jordan. Um, are you FaceTiming someone or are you no, filming I'm me? I'm recording. I was, I was kidding. I'm here representing my cousin, Addie. She is obsessed with you. Hey, especially Addie. Especially with you and Glee. Hi. And um, she wants to know if you, or what's your favorite musical and why? Oh, man. It'd be hard to pick my favorite musical, but I'll give you my favorite movie musical because it kind of ignited my passion for performing, and that was Singing in the Rain with Gene Kelly, Donald O'Connor, yeah, Debbie Reynolds. Um, 
Yeah, that, that I, I didn't even know that this is what I wanted to do when I fell in love with that movie. And I, I kind of started losing interest in soccer. I was playing soccer and baseball. I didn't want to play soccer anymore. And my, and my mom made me tap dance because I loved that movie so much. And other than that, she's never been a stage mom. She's always done her own thing. But yeah, I mean, that, that was what started it all for me. So singing in the rain. Thank you. You're welcome. Over to you, my friend. What's your name? Uh, hi, my name is Julema. Hi. Give it up for, say it again. Julema. Give Jalema. it up for Julema, everybody. Um, Look who it is. So I had a question. Uh, what is the best part about being the Flash? They make me my own super suit would probably be. Yeah, I mean, seriously. I like used to, like the most random wish I used to have as a kid was like, I wanted so bad, like, and to the like last stitching, an authentic version of Christopher Reeve's Superman suit. And I would like look on, like the internet wasn't really a thing, but like I remember like trying to, I just wanted one. So the fact that they like make me now, like I have like six flash suits. That's probably the coolest part. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Over to you my friend, what's your name? Hey, my name's Terry. Give Yo, it up dude. for Terry, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Terry, yeah. you're the first one that applauded for himself. Well done. <laughs> I thought I'd break the mold. I like it, I like um, it. Uh, and I love you in a completely platonic way. I love you. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know, you have no idea. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. We'll, we'll talk later. All right, all right. Um, uh, I was kind of wondering uh, uh, what your, ah, uh, oh, damn, I almost forgot my forgot question. Forgot your question. No, no, it's coming back to me. What's the, uh, what's the best uh, swag or anything that you've ever been able to uh, pilfer from Flash? Uh, probably the Central City, um, police department sweatpants. It's kind of boring, but, like, I wear them all the time. <laughs> so, and I, th I like really subtle flash swag, because I can't walk around in, like, a flash emblem, emblem, obviously, unless I'm, like, trying to be, like, noticed. Um, so, yeah, I wear, like, Star Lab stuff, or, like, Central City Police Department, like, undercover things. And uh, uh, Kevin, from your... Uh, I dress sorry, to yeah, be you, noticed. I, I know, you can only ask me questions, not uh, Kevin. I'm yeah, sorry. sorry. Uh, from, okay, from one, one question. From conversation about D&D uh, &D yesterday, yes. talk to Matthew Lillard. He's actually writing uh, campaigns for D&D, &D, so I bet he could hook you up. With Is he really? Campaign. And I saw him yeah, like after the He was the right before you. And he uh, talked about it? Yeah, oh, he was, they were doing like a, a mock building a D&D &D campaign. Th this is supposed to be about me. I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just I wanted to I wanted to bring him into the D and D family. If we can get this game of D and D going, you're invited. So all right, it's kind all right. of about. Yeah, I'm up anytime. Anytime. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. You. Thank you. Jumping over to you. What's your name, my friend? Hi, my name is Jasmine. Everyone, give it up, Hi, for Jasmine. Jasmine. <laughs> um, I know it's not original, but I love you too. I love you more. <laughs> I was just wondering, was there ever like a scene or an episode that was difficult to film personally? Yeah, there's been a lot. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, this scene I already touched on with Barry and his mom at the end of season one was like my favorite, but also one of the hardest scenes we've had to shoot. Um, actually, the hardest scene I've probably shot was a Tom Cavanaugh directed episode. Um, I forget what it was called, Future Flash, maybe? When we went to the future and we met <laughs> long-haired emo Barry. Long-haired emo Barry, <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> the wig aside, uh, that, that scene. That was, that was like <laughs> my chemical berry. That's what it kind of looked like. <laughs> that wig aside, um, yeah, that scene was between present day Barry and future Barry where they're fighting in the time vault about like basically Iris. Um, that, that was one of the harder scenes to shoot because there's two really different conflicting emotions happening, but they're both really heightened emotions and it's the same friggin' guy, but you want to convey like slightly older version, um, and you're wearing a stupid wig. <laughs> that was probably one of the hardest. You look more or less like the Flash and more like a Hot Topic yeah, employee. Was... Totally. But you pulled it off. You were able to out-act the wig, so that's the important Thanks, part. man, yeah. Thanks. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Jumping over to you. How are thank you? What's you. your name? Hello, I'm Audrey. Everyone hey, give it Audrey. up for Audrey. You, yeah. So I remember back when you showed up originally in Arrow, I was like, yeah. what the heck, this is the guy from Glee? Yep. So yeah. I had a question. How fast do you think the Flash can tap dance? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I guess as fast as he can do everything else. I don't, I mean, 
fast. I guess we wouldn't hear it though, because it would be like, <laughs> that's what it would sound like. Get it. Sonic boom tap dancing. What's that? Sonic boom tap. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> this is carpet. <laughs> the boy's wearing sneakers and it's a carpet, On man. Carpet. Like, <laughs> the spirit is willing, but the room is weak. I don't think it's gonna pan out. <laughs> All right, let's jump over to I don't know. Oh, they did their feet. Oh, oh. Um, hey, what's your name? Hi, I'm Cameron. Everyone give it up for Cameron. She's wearing a Star Lab shirt. Yeah. So I, I wanted to say that I love you. and I love you. <laughs> and your TV show as well, because it's been a, big, been a big part of my life. Thank you. <laughs> and my question is, what is your favorite season by far? I mean, I've, I've been asked a couple times today, and I think uh, season one, just because it was, you know, first season. I think just, the, again, that last episode, it was just bookended so perfectly. Uh, I think we've all come a long way as actors since then, and the show has come a long way in a lot of aspects. But I think overall, probably season one would be my favorite. Same. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. How are hey, you, hey. my friend? What's your name? Uh, I have Noah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really Noah. excited. <laughs> I, thought, I thought he was going to say I have no idea. <laughs> Give it up for Noah. He's very Noah. excited. <laughs> Here's um, your time to shine, Noah. Take it away. Uh, so, Grant, you were recently engaged. Congrats, by the way. Thank you. Thank um, you. What's sort of the difference or what do you feel is different about like engagement in the show versus like engagement in real life? <laughs> Obviously, you know, not everyone's perfect like Barry and Iris. So, like, yeah, you that's know. true. Um, well, I enjoy my real relationship much more. Um, <laughs> nothing against Candace. Uh, love her greatly. Um, yeah, it's obviously very different. One is scripted for me and fictional. Um, one plays itself out, and I love her very much in real life. So I think those are probably the biggest differences. <laughs> Would it be nice in real life to have scripted moments for you? Sometimes, God, yeah. Or somebody... <laughs> Somebody's like, here, say this shit yes, quick. Please. Yes, exactly, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, man, good to meet you. Over here, what's your name? Hi, my name is Erin, and I just want to say thank you, Grant. Um, the, your show got me through a really hard deployment, and I just want to ask, what is something that has gotten you through a hard time? <sighs> um, I'm just a little, like, on the nose and, like, I guess in this is what we're literally what we're doing, but I mean these things are. I guess hard time is a little. Di uh, I'm rambling. For me, the flat like the show can be tough as much as I love it, and it's like we touched on the hours. It's grueling, and as li I think as little as I've done these things too is what makes them so special for me. But things like this, San Diego Comic Con. I mean, I, I sometimes lose sight of like what this means to people because I mean, for me it is like I said it's all about the work I'm not sitting around thinking about like how cool I am that I get to play the flash or you know <laughs> whatever so to meet you guys and to see this passion and, and the love you guys have for the show I mean it really it, it reignites it for me it makes it I mean I'm going to work in a week so it's just going to make it so much easier to go back to work and love what I do even though I already do it just helps you know oh thank you yeah and thank you for your service, by the way. Yeah, thank you for your service. Yeah. Um, jumping over here, what's your name? Um, hi, I'm Karina. Everyone give it up for Karina. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess, Karina, do you love him? I love you, Karina. Um, my friend, Noel, she's right there. Hi, Noel. Yeah, she loves you, too. I love you, too, Noel. <laughs> um, my question was, did you like filming... The, like, Super Friends episode. The, yeah, the musical episode. Yeah, um, Super Friends specifically was a fun number because ridiculous song. Um, and we got to tap dance, and it had just, like, goof around. So that was a lot of fun, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Sing the song! <laughs> oh, man. I'm not singing the song. <laughs> um, jumping over here. Hey, what's your name? Rebecca. Hey, give her up for Rebecca, everybody. Hey, Rebecca. And you're amazing, but I don't love you. <laughs> I still love you anyway. Oh, thank you. 
what if I got to know you? But my question is... Respect. Um, <laughs> you, obviously, you're a hero on screen, but who do you think are the heroes in real life? Uh, man, I mean, all kinds of different people. We just met somebody who served, so the troops, I'm going to say. Um, my mom, um, she, yeah, was... Uh, I mean, my parents got divorced when I was a teenager, so she was kind of a single parent for the hard part of our lives, and she never dropped the ball and is the best lady in the world, so my mom will always be my biggest hero. Um, yeah, and I'm going to leave it at mom. Thank you. Yeah. Jumping over to you. What's your name? Um, hi, I'm Jamie. Everyone give hi. it up for Jamie. <laughs> Um, I do love you, but I also really love your shirt. So oh, thanks. I say that. Um, love you too. <laughs> my question is, why do you think every time there's a speedster, they have to say, run, Barry, run, or one, run, Wally, run? And I'm wondering if we're going to get a run, Nora, run from you. <laughs> I, I would imagine, without a doubt, we will hear Barry say, run, Nora, run, at some point. I don't know. I think it was just Tom made that line just, like, you know, so... Famous. It's like it's just classic flash. Because of that so line and because Tom like crushed it. Yeah. His delivery of that line was so iconic. When I did my episode, we worked that in like for uh, three times throughout the episode. People are talking to Barry, oh, right. and they're like, "Sit, Barry, sit." And then at the very end, it was Nora who finally says, "Run, Barry, run." Yeah, yeah. And it, that I, I when they did it again in the following season, they've done it a bunch. Yeah, a bunch. Anytime somebody calls it back, like, I get it. It's like one of your favorite moments of the show. And it kind of encapsulates what the entire adventure is about. Run, Barry, run. It's like the race of his life, the whole show. So I think it has to keep coming back. It's the Flash's version of May the Force Be With You. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like their catchphrase. Yeah, I mean, I've so. signed it like 10 times today at least. So, yeah. Do people ask for it when yeah, you run, sign it? Yeah, run, Barry, run, or run their name, run. Like. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever stop and be like, you know, this is the story of a boy who lost his mother? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well done. Give it up for her, ladies and gentlemen. Thank yeah. you. We coming over to you. What's your name? Melina. Everyone hey, give it Melina. up for Melina. Hi. So my best friend wasn't able to come today, and her name's Amanda. So if you could say hi to her really quickly. Hi. Wait, sorry. I already f Amanda? Yeah. She's watching this video of me going, wait, what? Yeah. Cheers. So you can cut this part out. Okay. And then we'll start with this part. Okay, go. Hi, Amanda. I love you. <laughs> what an actor, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so my question is... Oh, there's what? a question beyond yeah. the request? Yeah. <laughs> there's a so list. From... That was for Amanda. Now we're ready so for you. Yeah. By playing The Flash, what's the biggest thing you've learned? Um... Barry, I mean, throughout season one, I, th I was learning a lot from Barry and just kind of his empathy, I think, for others and his humility. I mean, he can be stubborn, which I can be as well. But I think, yeah, just trying to draw from some of Barry's stronger qualities because I think he's a great character, pretty good, a better man than me. So I try to emulate him <laughs> when I can. Thank you. Yeah, but sorry, that was it. <laughs> Jump it over to here. What's your name? Hi, I'm Parker. Give it up for Parker, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead, Parker. So my two best friends can't be here today, but they're the biggest fans of yours, and I was wondering if you could just say hi to them. Yep. Quickly. <laughs> <laughs> We're into the request hour. Yeah, the man. request hour. Yeah. Are we ready? Yeah. What are their names, though? Um, Kaylee and Ellie. Kaylee and Ellie. Yes. Hello, Kaylee and Ellie. You're not here, but 8,000 other people are, so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I also wanted to ask you, so you play a DC character. Yes. But um, if you were to play a Marvel superhero, which one would it be? Spider-Man. I love Tom Holland, but Spider-Man. I love Andrew Garfield, too, while we're talking about it. But. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Jumping over here, how are you? What's your name? My name's Hannah. Everyone give it up for Hannah. Hi, Hannah. So what is, like, like your favorite, like, part of, like, like musically, like, both of the shows? My favorite part of the shows? Yeah, like, when you sing or something. Um... I don't know, we've touched on the suit. We've what have we touched? I don't know. I, 
Is it nice being Thank you, yeah. <laughs> uh, at, the, at the, I mean, like for an actor, being at the top of the call sheet is like, you know, a dream, like, oh, it'd be nice to be the person around whom they build the show. Um, is that aspect of it nice being like, well, you know, this is on my shoulders and you quit yourself admirably and, and don't just execute but elevate. But like, there's no shame in like, oh my God, I'm the star of a TV show. Like, that's gotta be part of it, right? Um, I don't know. I mean, I've never really, I don't actually really think about it like that, to be honest. I mean, I've never been like, I haven't been on a lot of TV shows. I'd only guest starred. This is the first series regular thing I've had, so, um, that's as, being a series regular is like as cool to me as like being number one or whatever. In our sh cast, I really feel like even though I'm like in the suit, it's kind of an ensemble cast, and especially in more recent seasons, everyone kind of carries the workload. So I've always liked to as much as possible deflect that actually, and you know that it's not. I never say like, "Hey, my show." I always talk, you know, the Flash or our show. So I try to share that as much as I can. I don't know if I can handle it if I thought of it as my show. You know, right. yeah. Um, I didn't answer your question, yeah, though, sorry. but I love my job. You look really cool in your suit, and you. I hope, yeah, this was good enough. <laughs> well done. We jump yeah. over here. Thank Hello, you. Hello, Young Shaver. You. Love you. What's your name, man? Gabe. Everyone give it up for Gabe. What's up, Gabe? What's happening? What's the question? <laughs> what is your most embarrassing scene? <laughs> um, okay, so, well, first of all, most embarrassing, embarrassing scene that I think has been on the show, it's not that embarrassing, but I was embarrassed to shoot it because I uh, have chicken legs, but uh, when I slid out for the risky business moment in my underwear with the spatula and we were doing the, you know what I'm talking about? I was I like, I'm in my what, you say? Uh, <laughs> so that was a little tough, um, but in the finale, when Wally comes back and we were on, we weren't expecting him, and he's there for uh, the new baby's arrival, and we're, champagne's coming out, and they're passing out the trays, and I take the tray and I'm handing it out to everyone, and not one take, but two takes, I dropped like six champagne glasses, <laughs> so that was embarrassing for me, even though it won't be on the show. A bunch of people like fastest man alive, yeah. indeed. No, it was pretty. Yeah, the first time it was kind of like, oh, I'm so sorry, and then the second time it was like. Dude, like, can you like <laughs> not drop the champagne? Like, <laughs> I know we're in Canada and we're polite, but stop fucking up. <laughs> yeah. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Jumping over to here, we got time for like two more questions. How are you? What's your name? Uh, hi, I'm I'm Jake. Give it up I'm for Matt. Jake, everybody. Good to see you again. Uh, yeah, I also love you. <laughs> love you too, Jake. Um, I just wanted to say um, I love your dogs a lot. Um, I I also used to have a white poodle that was very dear to my heart. So. Yeah. Um, can you like please like bring at least one of them to one of these cons so we can meet them? <laughs> I can try. I, I, think, mean, I think it'd help you get through the con. Also. I guess they could go come to the Vancouver one. I mean, they're in Vancouver with me. So if I do the Vancouver one again, I'll, I'll bring a puppy. Yeah. <laughs> please do. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, man. Um, I'm going to ask a quick question. As a guy who plays a guy who runs very fast, yeah. uh, now there's a bunch of stuff where people run very fast. Do you ever look at other fast running uh, movies, TV shows to be like, oh, that's how they do it and stuff like that? Do you compare, compare your fast running to other fast running? Yeah, I guess, like without meaning to. Yeah, you just note that some, even on Flash, I mean, a lot of people run on the Flash. And yeah, I mean, like, yeah, you just notice different, you know, people walk different, people run different. Yeah, but you notice with running, yeah, different styles. Do you ever, sure. does that, like sometimes, uh, like uh, uh, Jason Mewes, the guy who plays Jay yeah, in of my course. Son, Bob. He'll be, he, this is back in the past, he'd be in a bar and people were like, hey, you're that guy from that movie. And he'd be like, yeah. And they'd punch him in the face and stuff like that, which I think was a criticism of the movie. <laughs> but have you met people in life who's like, let's race? Let's race, yeah. A couple times, yeah. What do you say to him? Like, I can't, bro, I don't run that fast. The only times I've been asked by strangers was like one time, literally at a QA, and a someone was like, can we race? I'm like, what, like, <laughs> we're supposed to do that. That was the only other time like a stranger's asked, but friends have asked, like three friends have asked, one of them twice, and, I, and I'm, I'm four now. And do you feel, like be honest, do you feel you're fast in real life? I, as a kid, yeah, I always thought, yeah, I was really fast as a kid um, compared to other kids, but then I, you know, um, I, don't <laughs> I don't like running. <laughs> Don't fucking say that out loud, man. <laughs> so I'm not like, you know, 
I, I, it's not like through high, I didn't like do track or like, you know, I wasn't really in sports. I was doing musical theater. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm, we could find out, I guess, <laughs> but I'm, I don't know. I don't test. Knowing that you don't like running just tells me you should have won an Emmy for every season <laughs> of that show. They should give you an award. Um, all right, we jump over to here. Hey man, what's your name? Joshua. Joshua, everyone give it up for Joshua. What's up, Joshua? All right, before my question, I want to point out yep. Frank. He's a very... Hey, Frank, I see you. Flash fan. I Probably see you. Probably the best Flash fan you'll ever find. Awesome. I see him. Who All else? Right. That's it? That's it? Just Frank? Yeah. All right, cool. Right. Hey, Frank. All right. And my question is, when... You're getting all sciencey on the on the show. Do you actually? Do I know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. Do you know what you're talking about? <laughs> um, I, I, when I read it, no. Um, but if I'm saying something on the show, I've looked it up and figured out what I'm talking about for sure. Like if I have a word that I don't know what it means, um, or I'll like ask somebody for reference, you know, to explain what I'm talking about. But there are absolutely times where that's necessary. But if you're seeing me say something on the show, I've more or less, like, I understand what I'm saying or else I'm a terrible actor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you have to cognize all of it. Yeah, you have to like figure out what it means, obviously. Which is easier for me than like Danielle, Panabek, or Caitlin has a much and Tom as as Wells and Los as Cisco. I mean, they give them all the expository jargon. jargon yeah, just just things that, I, I mean, sometimes they do make, st it's schmience, it's not real. They make things up that isn't real. Um, but I was not someone that excelled in math and science growing up. Uh, I'll say that much. But I figured it out and I know what I'm talking about when I say it. <laughs> Thank you. Here we go, man. You're going to be the last question. What's your name? Hi, I'm Cormac. Give it up for Cormac, everybody. Good, dude. Uh, first, take, just, us, take us home, sir. First, I just wanted to say I've watched the first season of Flash 18 times. Dang. <laughs> I'm with you, man, right there. Yeah. I, too, have wasted a lot of my life. <laughs> <laughs> my question is, is after playing Sebastian Smythe in Glee and now The Flash, which do you prefer, playing the villain or the hero? Ooh, that's uh, good. Um... I think that the villain is honestly more fun. I mean, not to say, like, I don't have fun playing The Flash. I actually like being Barry Allen more than The Flash, like, in scenes, to be honest. Uh, but, but, yeah, I want to definitely play some good villains in my career. Yeah, I mean, Savitar was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I don't know. Vill I, probably the villains are a little more fun, a little more interesting. I agree. Yeah. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. The... Uh the, the, before we get out of here, I just want to show them the, we, we, I, we never finished, I never finished the story. The Zoop, how the Zoop is accomplished. Yeah. Um, that's what I was most looking you, forward bro. to seeing. Hey, bye. See ya. Uh, most looking forward to seeing him when I was there and couldn't wait to see how it was done. How it's done is thusly. Uh, Bob, the AD, was like, how do you want to set up your shot? And I was like, well, uh, Joe and Iris and Cisco are in the foreground with their backs to the camera, empty mid-ground in the background. Uh, Flash will zoop into the into the breach room, and he goes, "Okay, there's going to be uh, about 10 seconds, two calls uh, for action, action camera, then wait 10 seconds, and then there's going to be an action grant." And I said, "Okay, what's that for?" And he goes, "We need the 10 seconds for a green screen, like it's not green screen, a uh, uh, plate shot. Yeah. Essentially, they could digitize him in after they're all done. So you know, they get him in position. They're like, here we go, action." And everyone just freezes in front of the camera and stuff. And, and we out. just roll for a few seconds. And then all of a sudden, they're like, OK, bring in Grant. And Grant will come into the doorway, just like this. Hits his mark. And then they'll be like, OK, action Grant. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. I laughed so hard, I blew the tape, man. <laughs> like. <laughs> Because I was like, oh, my God, do you guys realize the way you make the Flash, the way I used to play the Flash on the playground and stuff? Um, and then they blow that air cannon at the same time. It's fantastic. But the zoop in yeah. is actually, like, it's kind of silly to watch, but at least it starts the scene. So, like, he'll zoop in, and you're like, well, that was weird. But then you start talking, and the uh, dialogue is intense, and so you forget about it. But it's when you zoop, zoop out, out of the scene, yeah, the zoop which out. is really weird because, like, it's building to attention. Yeah. And then they're like... Uh, God, Barry, you got to go save them all. And he's like, I'm on it. And then he just walks out like Charlie Brown. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Grant Gustin.
Thank you for being here, man. We're going to take a quick picture and send you guys on your way. Thanks for being here. Give it up for Grant.